Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reacting to Fozia performing Crimea River I hope that's the Crimea River Are you sure? Because there's another one I know too There is? Well. Yes. I hope it's Justin Timberlake I don't like reacting to the songs that I don't know Sounds like JT Yep Great opening. Mm -hmm. That that was very very good. Now I'm gonna give her extra points for the fact that I've never seen nobody cover the song. So that's always ah. fun to do a, to react to a cover when it's, you've never. Because you know there are some covers where you well, see we do. everybody does it and it's like ugh. I like seeing new covers that we haven't seen. This is one of it. This is really cool. My only question is if this song will allow her to showcase all her capabilities that would be interesting she, for the audience. She already the did audience, an intro. The audience is not a regular audience. This audience is a musical audience. I get it, but she already showed off in the intro. The intro is, you know, Justin doesn't go like that. Mm -hmm. she, she, she showed off in the intro. Tell me you need me when you call me. I forgot I wanted to say something, but mm -hmm. what I want to say now is there is lyrics when you know because obviously they have mm -hmm. lyrics as a cover, but the lyrics are all over. So like it's not like a little screen. Mm -hmm. So when she looks at it, it's not obvious because she can look anywhere mm -hmm. on the top and it's gonna be the lyrics. I like that. Yeah, because like sometimes we see with some artists when they do covers, the lyrics is like a very small screen. And they continuously look at that screen, it's obvious. Mm -hmm. In this show, it's not obvious that they're reading mm -hmm. the lyrics, so it adds to the performance. <laughs> oh, and also, I remember what I wanted to say. Yeah, so about showcasing the skills. I get what you're saying, but. I like showcasing versatility too and mm -hmm. doing songs like this is versatility. You show that not only you can hit the classics, mm -hmm. you can also do the fun songs. Mm -hmm. That was more, uh, like one of my biggest complaints about Shantae because she kept doing the uh, early on in the mm -hmm. show, she kept doing the same class, like that one style of music. Mm -hmm. Whereas for Fo Zia, I feel like she's doing everything. Is that the correct way to say your name? I think so. I think yeah. it's Fozia, yeah. That's at least if I remember correctly, yeah. Okay. But yeah, so uh, she's showing off. She's versatile. I like that. Okay, back up. I want to hear about the instrument 
gentles how she says him because I wonder if she does the uh, like a vibrato uh -huh. on it or is is it the instrumental that's doing it? I think it's her. It sounds like I her. Wanna see. I want to see. This is weird. <laughs> This is the opportunity where she's showcasing her skills. Mm -hmm. yeah. She has to, because for this song, it's quite tr tricky. <laughs> because in this song, he is talking, and this song was actually dedicated to Britney Spears, so it's very impressive. What are we doing? There you go, violin. Now that's showcasing your skills. But it's called The Singer. Right, I get it, but still. Okay. She is talented. Now that is versatility, yeah. right? That's what I'm saying. I know. Versatility. I know. I I think the objective is it's called the singer, but I don't think it's the singer. I think the objective is entertainer. Cause You think so? Right. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Because look at uh, last week, uh, my, I was saying if it's the singer about the vocals who can sing the best, uh, Shante won't be placed above her. Shante mm -hmm. wasn't. Which it means shows is that it's not about vocals. Mm -hmm. It's about the whole package as a whole, mm -hmm. like the entertainment factor of it. <laughs> Also, they take in consideration how she changed the piece too, as well from the original. So, if that's into consideration, it's more than just called the singer. I think they don't compare to the original. I think mm -hmm. it's about this performance. Mm -hmm. I don't think they consider the original at all. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She that, that's what I think. This one. She did. Mm -hmm. And, and all the effort to go into that, mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. And I really like the ad libs, the, the backup mm -hmm. vocals, the ad libs are really nice. They add a nice touch. <laughs> That's a classic mm -hmm. Dimash knee drop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> too as well because she doesn't get uh, she has like I, I hope know. so too she's she's a great and her, her own and music, music is great, is great as well what state she is based in Canada Can oh, she, oh she's based in Canada <laughs> performance she did a phenomenal job of course i look forward to see others performances but i think she has a good chance of taking the number one spot so we'll see uh you said last week she got uh Threats. third okay. Yeah. okay okay so she's still in this so guys we're following her journey so don't forget to like comment and subscribe join our discord and as always as always share as much kindness as possible bye